Garrett, we we had uh, Avanci, um, a uh, company that operates pools, announce a uh, Kodak pool in October. Uh, would you please describe the Avanci organization, how their stated approach uh, for Kodak differs from existing Kodak pools and how you see this playing out? Sure, thanks, thanks, Rob. Uh, so Avanci was started uh, by a former Ericsson uh, executive uh, in uh, 2016 or so uh, to uh, fill what I think was seen by some of the founders of Avanci as a need in the marketplace to address a particular industry, the automotive industry. And, and as people may know, and, and certainly this is a topic that we could take a whole other hour in, there, there was a debate ongoing as to, uh, you know, again, whether there should be component licensing and whether that is a requirement of the fair, reasonable, and non-discriminatory undertaking that uh, participants in standard setting organizations agreed to, or, or do you satisfy that FRAND commitment by uh, end product licensing. Avanci went after the automotive industry and has been, uh, I think by some reports, at least in terms of who is licensed, uh, has been successful in licensing the car manufacturers to a variety of, of uh, uh, technologies. I think, um, you know, Avanci was late to the game. Obviously, uh, Sisvel has been around for you know, 40 years or so or something like that, uh, Mattia, uh, uh, via uh, MPEG LA, uh, you know, kind of the same uh, history. But I think one of the things that Avanci has done, uh, and it's something that, that I think uh, every chance I get, I try to push the agencies into agreeing is uh, efficiency producing is multi-standard uh, licensing in a single program. So with the new Avanci program that was announced in October, where I think you're uh, completely correct, Rob, that there is no public announcement of, of what the rates will be, but the focus is going to be on uh, internet streaming services. Um, something new, although something that uh, I think other patent pool administrators have toyed with in the past, this is going to be, I think, something relatively new that becomes the focus of the licensing program. But, but the program will include, uh, you know, AV1, MPEG Dash, HEVC, VVC, uh, VP9. And, and I think that is another development that we're going to start to look forward into the future uh, that will increase the efficiency of pools as devices such as smartphones and, and certainly other devices include multiple different codecs uh, in their devices as uh, the use of the codecs uh, uh, become uh, 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 more uh, uh, multi-purpose and, and different content is, is streamed in different uh, uh, formats. So I, I think in, in two ways, I think this is where we're going in the future, multi-standard multi licensing programs and, and streaming 